fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. The building of the first transcontinental railroad was one of the most important steps in the winning of the West. The railroad was of prime importance to the future of the country, but powerful forces, cattlemen, stagecoach lines, and steamship companies opposed it. Outlaw opposition sprang up, and the Lone Ranger was commissioned by the President to lead the fight against the enemies of progress. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. West of the Platte, beyond Fort Kearney, the small herds of buffalo and the prairie gophers raised their noses and sniffed the east wind. There was a scent of man on the wind, the strong scent of many men, and the wind carried sounds too. The muffled pound, pound, pound of hundreds of workers swinging giant hammers, building a railroad across the wilderness. That's the way. Flatten that road bed. Pound it out. There's a railroad coming. You want the track crew to lay rails on empty ground? They're coming fast. Putting the rails down so quick they smoke. Get ahead. Get ahead and keep ahead. Faster there, you slow folks. They'll be climbing right over your back. Mr. Hackness, soon we'll have the road been fixed clear to fixable before they're a hundred miles out of Kearney. That's the way to talk. Yeah, and this is the way to work. Hold that mall, Johnny. Get it, Shanny. Here we go. And again. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. We're off to San Francisco. That's the way. That's the way to build a railroad. Mr. Harkness, Mr. Harkness. Howdy, Miss Barkley. Colonel Parkman sent me out to see how you were doing. <laughs> you have to ask, ma'am? Uh, no, indeed. I can see you're doing right fine. These men are real workers. You better tell the curve to speed up that track crew. We'll be miles ahead of them. We're putting down ten miles of track a day, Harkness. Oh, for a fact. For a fact. Well, that's fine. We'll get this railroad built in spite of flood or fire or... Indians! Uh, drop your hammers! Guns! Get your gun, it's a raiding party. Right, we're on both sides, they're wearing war paint. Sammy, get down behind those sandbags. I got the one in the paint. Miss Barkley, here, get down here. Make every shot count, men. Don't waste bullets. There's one I didn't waste, Mr. Harkness. That redskin was dead before he hit the ground. Oh, gracious, there's so many of them. Way below us, Tonto. Ah. Left the end of track several miles ago. No sign of the grading crew. Them work plenty fast. Get plenty far ahead. I haven't noticed any signs of trouble. Have you? No. No trouble. How long have we been riding the railroad right away, Tonto? Three days since we came up from St. Joe, isn't it? That's right. We watch railroad from hill by day and by night. 
Can't very well show ourselves. An Indian and a masked man. Some of those railroad men might shoot first and ask questions later. Uh, uh, uh. Them not know you, Lone Ranger. Only girl know that. Miss Berkeley? Uh. We haven't heard anything from her, Toto. She's supposed to get in touch with us if anything goes wrong. That means that everything is quiet, or... Ah, uh, or else, girl, maybe not know. Well, we can... Toto. What matter? Rain up steady, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. Listen, Toto. Uh, me not hear anything. Steady, boy, steady. Listen. She must have me here now. That sound like Indian raid. Yes, attacking the grading crew. Up ahead of us. Come on, Toto, gallop. Get him up. Oh, oh, oh. Don't waste them. Say, miss, will you load me rifle? I've got an arrow in me arm. Can't do me own load. Oh, it looks bad, doesn't it, Mr. Harkness? Sure does, Miss Barkley. We need help. We need help bad if we don't get it. Quiet. I don't know who it is, and I don't care. They're shooting at those redskins. Come on, man. Shoot for all you're worth. Shoot! Oh, Hard turn the tide. Well, I'll be a busted tie spike. Mr. Harkness, he's wearing a mask. Yeah. What kind of hombre are you, an outlaw? Let's not go into that. Harkness, We're trying to... don't lift your rifle. After all, these men saved our lives. Yeah, I reckon they did. Keno, mister, whoever you are, there'll be no gunplay. Shannon, have the boys get back to work. Sure thing, Mr. Harkness. Come on, you bully boys. Soon what's a few savages. We've got a railroad to build. Drop your guns and up with your hammers. We're working for the railroad. Oh, 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 oh. Too bad your men haven't got horses, right? Yes. We can corral that whole band of Indians. Reckon so, mister. But as long as they're held off, we can't hightail after them anyway. We got a road to build. What about... What about... Yes? Well, out there. Several of the Indians were killed. When they charged, they asked for that, miss. Uh... I uh, suppose they did, but I don't still... fret, Miss Barkley. I'll detail some of the boys to give them a decent burial. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back oh, to the woods. You need to know the answer to my prayer. We were following the grade. We heard the shooting. Not right. We look for you, too. This was a surprise to me. Oh, I'm certain it was, but uh, I wonder if they were all Indians. Well, what do you mean? Well, this one lying here. Let's get a little closer. Come here, Tonto. Let me clear up war, kid. I'll face and see if... He must have This Tonto not Indian? No. He's a renegade, Miss Barkley. What's more, look at the gloves he's got shoved through his belt. Do you notice that brand on them? Masked man, it's a, a brand like a spur. That's right. Why, a week ago, when there was that trouble hiring men in St. Joe, those outlaws you helped capture, they had spur brands on their gloves or holsters, too. Yes. Not and I put those brands on ourselves. That was how the sheriff was able to identify them and take them prisoner. Oh, then this one must have escaped. Ah, uh, and that plenty bad. Him come here and make Indian attack on railroad. Then it wasn't just an Indian raid. No, Miss Barkley. It was planned. Planned by the mysterious band of outlaws who are trying everything within their power to prevent the railroad from being built. Who, who are they? We don't know yet, but... Uh, yes? I was just wondering. This man is dead. He can't trouble us any longer. But he escaped from the sheriff at St. Joe. I wonder how many more escaped. Senor Kilgo. I see you coming, Brazos. Come all the way in. Oh, they're plenty tired. They ride plenty far. Uh, you wear some war paint, Brazos. Is your raid on the railroad? See, si. see, si, I'm on the way back from San Joseph. We pay Indians some cash to fight grading crew. Kill them? No, senor. At first, we do pretty good. Then help come for them. The man's man is partner. No ranger in Tonto, eh? Uh, see. Si. Those hombres have a way of turning up whenever the railroad's in trouble. I don't like it. Senor, there is not the one half of it. They turn up back in San Joe also. What's that? They... You mean the scheme to break up hiring men for the railroad didn't come off either? Very hey, sorry, senor. Sorry? We make plans for the start go rush, so men only leave railroad work. Only Lone Ranger spoil plan. But Dawson Slade? In prison, all the rest in prison. Only me and Carl, we get away. And Carl, where's he now? He's perhaps dead, senor. Attack on railroad crew, we both put war paint on like Indians. Yeah, you still got paint on. Carl, he catching bullet, I don't wait for to see. 
Oh, he's going well. She's heavy. I take off, yes? He'll keep after that railroad, understand? I got plenty of cash. I can get more men. That railroad's never gone through. If it does, there's no chance that the Western Territory will break away from the United States. And I want it to. I... Huh? Senor, for why you stabbed my holster? Something is wrong, yes? What's this? What is what? Me, I don't know savvy what... Oh, this. You mean what is born in the leather, yes? Looks like a brand. Mark of a spur. See, this long range, he do that. Pretty clever. Do that while we sleep before business at San Joseph. At least our sheriff know which is us. Long range, he call out, arrest everyone with Marcus Spur. And... Senor, what is matter? Mark of the spur. A mark of the spur. Why, right, Jupiter, that's it. That's it. Senor, you go loco, maybe? <laughs> ah, no, Brazos. The mark of the spur, yeah. For me, it is all dark like Brazos. the inside. Ever since he was talking about railroad across the continent, ever since I started to do my best to bust the railroad, I've been looking for a sign or a mark. For someone I could use to put fear into the railroad workies. Oh? And here it is, tossed right in my lap by the Lone Ranger. <laughs> yeah. Spur. Spur. What kind of spur, Brazos? Huh? Broken spur, flying spur, black spur. Hey, all this spur I wear is just iron spur. Iron. Yeah, by thunder, that's it. The iron spur. The mark of the iron spur. <laughs> yeah, Brazos, we'll bust that railroad. We'll wreck their cars, rip up their tracks, ambush their surveyors. We'll ride at night, and whenever we do anything, we'll leave our mark behind. A mark that'll spell terror and fear. The mark of the iron spur. <laughs> <laughs> Called herself the Iron Spur? Oh, yes, they're everywhere. Just this afternoon, one of the men on the grading crew was shot. He was bringing water by mule. Dead? No, not dead. Badly wounded. Have you found out anything about them? Helen and I have been searching day and night. Ah, van plenty big. Work many places at the same time and hard to catch. Colonel Parkman has asked for another detachment of soldiers to guard the right-of-way. The railroad workers are hardy men, but this thing that strikes without warning... It... The soldiers will help. The workers see the mark of the Iron Spur everywhere. Some of them have already quit. Yes, but some will keep right on working. That band must be wiped out. Hunt and I learned about a man named Brazos who escaped from St. Joe. The sheriff gave us his description and he was seen near here. Suppose you meet us tomorrow night. Perhaps we'll have some further information. Oh, yes, yes, I'll do that. Tomorrow night. But now I must get back. There was a message the colonel wanted me to deliver to Mr. Harkness. Adios till then. Till then, Miss Barkley. Adios. <laughs> Brazos, here she comes. Hey, the secretary for the Colonel Parkman. She will know plenty that will be useful to the Iron Spur. Get ready. Now, get up. Get up, get up. Get up. Hold on. Oh, what does this mean? Let go of my reins. Do you know who I am? Yeah, hey, we know. You are Miss Barkley. And we are members of the Iron Spur. No. Miss Barkley, I give you a choice. I have a gun in my hand. Either you come with us or... Or you are dead woman. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. The following night, the Lone Ranger and Tonto waited for Miss Barkley at the rendezvous. The moon rose, reached high into the night sky, and set once more. The stars flared, and a coyote howled. It was long past the appointed time, but there was no sign of Miss Barkley. Finally, the Lone Ranger and Tonto headed for the railroad, taking the path she had followed when she left them. As the sky lightened with the approach of dawn, 
Their eyes searched the ground in front of them. Minutes passed in silence, and then... Tonto, right up. Steady, so Look up, Tonto. Oh, oh. Now the tracks are old. Must have happened last night. Look, two sets of tracks coming out of the bushes. And here are the tracks of Miss Barkley's horse. Ah, and hoofs make long marks. That means she stopped quick. Then the three of them headed that way, west. Now, now she was taken by surprise. I wonder who it she was. Hubby. Look. An iron spur. <laughs> since Brazos and Jacqueline brought you here yesterday morning? Huh. At the point of a gun. Well, sometimes a little persuasion is necessary. And although you're tied up, we're not going to harm you. You're uh, a parkman's secretary, aren't you? Oh, I needn't bother answering. Perhaps not exactly a secretary, but you work with them and you know plenty about the railroad. You? You're the leader of the Iron Spur. Well, I won't answer that. Doesn't make any difference. But I just want you to tell me a few facts. Now, the railroad's got a grading crew pretty far out in front of the track. A former named Harkness is the boss. They ought to be about um, here tomorrow. Will they get the water from this water hole, Miss Barkley? Oh, yes, I... I'm... <laughs> Thanks, Miss Barkley. Oh, thanks for what? I've told you Never nothing. Mind. I figured if I shouted at you real sudden, you'd answer before you uh, had time to think. Oh, it's not that water hole. No, no they... Well, water is brought from the end of the track, and... Now save your breath, Liz. Razors, Jacqueline. Yes, si, senor. Come here. Close the door, Jacqueline. Hey, hello, senorita. You are comfortable, no? Oh, but it is so lovely up here in the hills. The air is so sharp like wine. The view is so wonderful. <laughs> And he's so far from the railroad, eh? <laughs> Nobody ever come up here, yes? <laughs> That's enough, Brazos. Uh, si, senor. Hey, Miss Barkley's been giving us some news. Oh? So? Come here, both of you. Take a look at this map. Can uh, you read a map, Jacqueline? No. I figured not. I read the map, senor, and I read it good. Hey, this is map of country where railroads run. Along here goes the tracks. Beyond this grading crew and right near these water holes. You know, Brazo, it's a water hole. Stop right there. Huh? That's as far as we need to know. Uh, how many of the boys are outside? Only three, senor. Durando, he go to Omaha with Scanlon and Pedro and Willie and Carson. Fred Willie head for Buffalo country where the red old meat hunters look for meat. More Never lake, mind, he... never mind. You and Jacqueline and three others is plenty. You five will get your horses and start out. You go with them, senor? No. Nah. I got business in places. The, uh, the senorita, she will be here long. Sure, tied up. You'll be back in a day. <laughs> bueno, senor Kilgrew. <laughs> Are you like that, Miss Barkley, eh? When we go on our business, you stay here alone. You have fine time breathing the air, watching the view, eh? <laughs> it's very lonely up here. Nothing else to watch, only the view. <laughs> in the hills. We lose trail and rock. We saw this cabin and we... Miss Barkley, where are they? Anyone around? No, no, they're all gone. And where they go? All over, Tonto, all over. The leader's gone. Oh, good heavens, I almost forgot. The water hole. Water hole? Yes, it's getting me free. Take it easy, I'll manage those ropes. Go on, tell us. You, you remember Harkness's crew, the grading crew? Harkness, the outfit that ran into Indians west of the Platte? Yes, that's the one. They're further west now, 75 miles further west. Oh, you'll have to ride faster than you ever rode before. Brazos and the others are already on their way. Hold on, what do you mean? They're poisoning the water hole. Poisoning the... Follow, follow after me as fast as you can. Bring Miss Barkley. I'm on my way. There's Silver. <laughs> Steady, boy. 75 miles further west? Yes, yes, Mastman. Come on, Silver. Hit the trail. Oh, Toto, it's so far. 
Will he ever get there on time? No, him get there. Keep pounding, men. You're setting a record that no crew can beat. We'll show them how to build a railroad. Here I am, Mr. Harkness. What the... Oh, Shelly. <laughs> By the brandished on, Mr. Harkness, you fair jumped out of your skin, that you did. <laughs> Who'd you think I was? Some of those men at the Iron Spur? Nowadays, we never know, Shanty. Well, it's the water I've got. I brung back the water. Shall I be after telling them to come and get it? Yeah, I reckon we could all use a drink. Sure, and who couldn't? <coughs> Rest yourselves. Rest yourselves, me bully boys. Fills me own self, Shanty, bringing you water to drink. Come and get it! <laughs> Will you be looking at their faces, though? <laughs> boys? I never thought I'd live to see the day when you'd be crazy about water. <laughs> never mind the blarney, Shanty. Pour it out. Uh, would any of you rather have a cup of tea now? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't blame you. Tis cool, this water. Cool and fresh and sweet in the lakes. You didn't take a drink already. Oh, not me, Mr. Harkness. Sure, didn't we agree that everyone should drink one and all at the same time? In this blazing sun, it ain't fair for one man to sip water before the others. Hold out your cups, lads. And here we go. Yours, Mr. Harkness. That's fine. Yours, Lepenko. Uh, yeah. Yours, Dandy Man. Yes, sir. Uh, what is... Somebody put a bullet right into the water skin. It's leaking out. I'll drink mine. My... Oh, what in blazes? Knock the cup right out of your hand. Don't drink that water. Don't touch it. Well, I'll be tall drawn. It's a mask man. Shouldn't. Mister, you can knock the spots off a fly at 50 paces. But what's the idea? I ain't going to have a drink of water if I have to lap it up Don't in the ground. Don't drink that water. Mister, just what is this about? Has anyone had a drink yet? No, 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 we didn't have a drink. None of us had a drink. I reckon we would have if you hadn't pulled trigger. But so far, our throats are as dry as a desert sand. Good. Good, he says. Faith, man, are you stark staring mad as well as masked? What's good about a patched throat? That water was poisoned. Poisoned? By the men of the Iron Spur. <laughs> Plenty fast. Do you think the Lone Ranger got there already? Silver, him gallop like wind. Last friend here, all right. Well, that's funny. What matter? I don't hear the sound of hammers or the men singing. Suppose, Toto, suppose he got to them too late. When we look, here top a ridge. Toto. Uh -huh. Look at the men. They're, they're all stretched on the ground, sprawled out. Toto, they're dead. Ah. Uh -huh. It looked that way. He must have drunk the water before he got there to warn them. Before... Toto, I, I don't understand. Isn't it silver? Oh, that's right. And that... That lone ranger beside him on ground. Toto, they can't all be dead. They can't. It's impossible. Miss Barclay, look, there. Where? Riding from other way. Riding down railroad grade. One, two, three, five... Five riders. Oh, Tano, it's Brazos and Jacqueline and the rest. It's the Iron Spur. No, you're not moving. Way here. The outlaws of the Iron Spur. What shall we do? <laughs> Look at him, Brazos. <laughs> See, Jacqueline? <laughs> yes, they lay out on the ground like trees hit down by tornado, eh? <laughs> Our poison, it worked fine. <laughs> Now we go leave Iron Spur beside bodies for railroad men to be afraid of later, eh? <laughs> Jacqueline. Yes? That big horse, the white one. He looked familiar. Is that not horse from Lone Ranger? By gravy, you're right, brother. For certain I'm right. Because they're on ground also with Lone Ranger himself. Oh, that's plenty funny, eh? We catch Lone Ranger, too. He must have wandered up just in time to get some of that water. Yeah, that old race. We got Lone Ranger. <laughs> so... You wait now. Hey, Brazo, why don't you get off your horse? Just drop the spur and let's ride. No, Jacqueline. Me, I changed the mind. <laughs> For a long time, nobody knows who is a man under the Lone Ranger mask. Now, me, Brazos, I found out, eh? <laughs> See, 
I leave the mask proud, though. Right now. All right, man, on your feet. Cover them. Oh, oh, please, we have a fool. They're not dead. Raise me oh, oh, The next man who draws won't get off so easy. Reach for a handful of air. As soon as my name is Shanty, I'll be letting air through you. No, no, no. You're not shoot. We surrender. We give up, yes? Harkness, do you think your men can deliver these outlaws to the jail? Mister, we'll give them a personal escort. Hi. You didn't drink the water. Sure, and we didn't. This is all the brain work of the gent with the mask. Ah, what a brain, Miss Barkley. Don and I are riding on. Brazos, give us the name of your leader. Well, I, uh, I... I'll tell you. Look for a man named Kilgrew. Ralph Kilgrew. Kilgrew. You hear that, Tonto? Uh huh. We look for a man named Kilgrew. Said a big fella. <laughs> Adios. Adios. Adios, masked man. We'll head for that cabin, Tonto. One silver head of count. Well, I'll be doggone. They sure left sudden, didn't they? Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Harkness. And that's the way they'll be back, if we ever have any more trouble. Because, well, that's the way the Lone Ranger is. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 